Hey there and welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Cheryl. This is your journey yoga and today it's all about your back. I got your back. Um, woke up feeling mine this morning and I was like, yes, we need to do this. So um, on those mornings, I know that uh, each day that passes, we can wake up kind of feeling stiff and whatnot. Um, lower back seems to be one of those culprits um, more often than not. So whether it's um, a chronic issue or just from time to time, uh, the lower back, it's amazing how when you feel it, you know, you're not even supposed to feel parts of your body, right? And then when all of a sudden you're like, oh, man, hello. Um, yeah, we got to take care of those guys. So uh, this series of stretches, this yoga flow is going to take care of a lot of TLC, um, gentle stretches for the back. Some of them are going to be a little more intense. So anytime when we are working with parts of our bodies that need a little extra TLC, it's not always great to work through the pain. Okay, so if there's pain involved in any of the stretches, we want to stop and make sure we evaluate and be mindful and purposeful about our movements. Okay, if it's not right, it's just not right. Um, and we're gonna be very, very gentle and we're gonna be kind. Okay, working through and uh, hopefully feeling a whole lot better in just a little bit. So starting in a seated position today, we are gonna rest those hands comfortably wherever you like and we're gonna sit up nice and tall, just feeling that length in the spine. If it feels better to you to have those hands down by your sides, just find a comfortable place. Close your eyes and take big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Letting go of the world around you and being present right here within the four corners of your mat. Aware of each breath we take. Let's keep those eyes closed and slowly walk the hands forward, supporting as we walk those hands out. Gently releasing the weight of the upper body as you go. And just let yourself melt. We are absolutely not forcing anything to happen. We are letting gravity use the weight of our bodies to help sink. Breathe slow and steady. We inhale and lift just slightly and walk our hands out to the right. Reaching through the left fingertips as far as you can reach. Now press that left sit bone towards the mat and relax the weight of your head down. Let's take that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and the chest, reaching up towards the side. Now you can stay up on the palm of the hand or come down onto your forearm, as long as we can keep that left hip pressing towards the mat. Roll that left shoulder back. Nice long stretch all the way down that left side, through the ribs, into that QL region, into the hip. As you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest back to that right thigh, reach out through those fingertips, always supporting that back if it needs it. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands back through center. Fingertips reach out as far as you can reach and then let yourself melt. Noticing if some of the resistance has let go. Range of motion slowly increasing. Discomfort, hopefully not at all. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk those hands to the left, reaching through the right fingertips as far as you can reach and relax the weight of the upper body down. So like much things in life, right? You can tell somebody that your lower back, ooh, it's just really, really tight. Unless you've been there, you don't get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Taking that right arm up and over, opening the tummy and the chest, reaching out towards the side, keeping that right hip glued to the mat. If it feels right to you, come down onto your forearm. If it doesn't, don't do it, stay up on the hand. We just wanna create that really nice stretch. And everybody's different. Gotta take care of our bodies. As you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest back to the thigh, reaching out. Mm, just big deep breaths. I'm just checking in. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center. Fingertips reach out. Oh, now slowly, you notice that the back is like, oh, okay. 
head heavy, gravity working for us. Loose men up through the hips, letting go through that lower back. Nice little stretch through the shoulders. Inhale, circle your hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms overhead as you hinge up nice and tall. As you exhale, turn to the right, placing that left hand to the top of your thigh, right hand behind you to the floor. Lengthen through the crown of the head. I want you to sit up really tall. Now keep that length in the spine and a little push with that left hand against your knee to get a deeper rotation, taking your gaze out over that back shoulder. Find your breath, slow, steady breaths. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. And as you exhale, turn to the left, right hand to the top of the thigh, left hand behind you to the mat. Lengthen through the crown of the head, so sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and away. Keep that length in the spine as you turn and rotate. So, so important before we twist to get that length in the spine to create space between each of those vertebrae. Find your breath, quiet it down. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. Exhale and release those hands down by your sides. Let's come forward and up onto all fours to tabletop. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core stays nice and strong to support that back. Take a big breath in, tummy towards the mat, gaze and sit bones to the sky. Now this can be an intense stretch. Make sure your core stays strong. Exhale, lift your spine, hollow your tummy and chest. Give a little push away with the hands and the knees. Tuck your chin. Inhale it back to count. And exhale it to cat. So if you practice with me regularly, you will see these things. Just moving at your pace with your breath. We're gonna do three more. You're gonna see cat and cow. Oftentimes you will see that seated forward fold. Working through the kinks in the back, guys, so key before we get into some of those deeper stretches. So key to create good posture, and you know how I love good posture. Let's do one more each direction. So important to warm up through the back, through the hips, through the shoulders. And we come back to that neutral spine. Core strong, we're gonna inhale and extend left arm and right leg, squaring our hips, lifting out of that right shoulder, Reaching and lengthening through your limbs. Add a flex of that right foot, press through your heel. Now really important to keep those hips side by side, to lengthen and reach through the fingertips. So it's not about how high you can get that leg, it's about keeping that long line and without dipping your tummy towards the mat. We want to strengthen, we want to align and release. Send your weight, other side, inhale it up, right arm, left leg. Reach through the toes, draw that belly button in and off. So we're not arching the back too much. Hips are square, add a flex of that left foot. Our spinal balance, wonderful for strengthening core, shoulders, legs. Find your breath. Stability. So this isometric hold incorporates tons of different muscles and release. Set it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Oh, sit those sit bones back towards your heels. Relax the weight of your body. Child's pose hopefully feels good. If for whatever reason there's some modifications, you can open up those knees a little bit, creating more space for your tummy and your chest. You can bring your hands in, stacking your hands. We're stacking fists for, to give something for your forehead to rest against. Find what feels good to you. You can bring your hands back by your feet, palms open to the sky, releasing the tension in the neck, the shoulders. Breathe. Extend those arms out nice and long. Hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. We're going to lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky, up to our downward facing dog. So one of the things that can contribute to a tight lower back are tight hamstrings. 
So notice how those hamstrings are feeling today. Are they tight? Are they feeling pretty good? Breathe, head heavy, face soft, heels sinking towards the mat. We're gonna alternate bending knees and just creating a nice long stretch down the back of the straight leg. Just checking in. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We're gonna inhale up to the balls of the feet, hollowing the tummy, hollowing the chest, slowly shifting our weight forward, leveling out into a plank. Now tuck your chin, lift your spine towards the ceiling, hollowing the chest, hollowing the tummy, slowly shifting your weight back towards your feet. Hips are high, and then we'll, all of a sudden we let those heels gently sink back to down dog. We're gonna do that again. Inhaling up to the balls of the feet, hollowing the tummy, hollowing the chest, lifting your spine, shifting your weight forward, slowly we level out into plank. And let's do that again. Tuck the chin, hollow the chest, lift your spine, hollow your tummy, coming high up onto the balls of the feet as your sit bones reach to the sky. And then as you exhale, let your heels sink. We inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. Breathe. Find your breath. Extending those arms out nice and long. We lift the forehead, tuck the toes, back we go to down dog. Find your breath. End of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold and relax the weight of your upper body down. So here we go on our hamstring stretch once again, checking in. Head heavy, arms heavy. If you're feeling pressure behind your knees, softly bend your knees. I want you to feel that nice release in that lower back. I want you to feel that great stretch on the backs of the legs. Bring the hands to the elbows and gently sway side to side. Breathe slow, steady. We come back to center. Release the arms and slowly roll it up. One vertebra stacking on top of the other at a time. As you reach the top, give those shoulders a big roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Do that again. Take it up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. Interlace your fingers at the top, all with your next finger and thumb. Let's bring those feet side by side. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Press your hips to the right. And we're going to roll that right shoulder back. Using that left hand to pull that right arm. Breathe. So the movement for our spine, front and back, rotations, lateral movements, inhale it up nice and tall. And as you exhale, reach to the right, press your hips to the left, use that right hand to pull that left arm. Breathe. So that forward flexion, the arch of the back, rotation side to side, Inhale it up nice and tall. We want to get it all. And pull those hands to heart center. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Walk, step, or hop to high plank. Crocodile down, toes or knees. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. We inhale it to high plank. Releasing the knees to the mat. Untuck your toes and walk your hands back. Breathe, tabletop. We shift our weight to our right hand. Left hand reaches through, shoulder to the floor, side of the head to the floor. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky, reach it up. 
as high as you can reach. So we're working that upper middle back. Getting those twists. Lengthening and extending those right fingertips to the sky. Circle that right arm around behind your back. Close your eyes. And I want you to kind of move through your body. What's talking? What's quiet? How's your breath? Extending right arm to the sky. Slowly release your hand down. And let's press it back up to tabletop. Center your weight and we take it to the other side. Right hand sweeps through, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. We rotate our bodies and extend left arm to the sky, reaching up just as high as you can reach. Breathe. Noticing if you feel it differently on one side versus the other. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Just circle your arm as far as you can reach. Breathe. Once again, extending that left arm to the sky, slowly releasing your hand down, pressing yourself back up to tabletop. And let's press our hips to the right, back and over, and coming back to center. Now press it up and back. I should say up and back, don't say up and back. Side and back, and up. So I always try and give the cues, like if you were doing everything, let's take it to the right. If you were doing everything with your eyes closed, could I communicate with you and you still get it? That's what I go for all the time. So hopefully I am having that happen so that you could do a whole class with your eyes closed. Wouldn't that be crazy? Let's come over onto one hip and sweep the feet around, sliding on down to the top of the mat. Extending those legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. Gentle, kind. Relax the way the upper body down. Just let yourself melt like we did at the beginning. Not forcing things to happen. You notice at the very beginning, your body just tenses up in protective mode. Give it a chance to relax. Inhale, reaching out. Sit up nice and tall and gently release your arms down by your sides. Let's cross that right leg up and over the left. If you prefer, you can just bring that foot to the inside of your leg and we're going to sit up nice and tall. Add a flex of that left foot. We wrap the crook of the left elbow around the knee and pull it in nice and tight. Right arm extends out, lift it high. Remember, we need that length and space between each vertebrae before we twist. And then circle that right arm around behind you. Now we take our gaze out over that right shoulder, all the while pulling that right knee in, lengthening through the crown of the head. We turn that gaze as far as we can turn it and tuck your chin towards that right collarbone. Breathe, slow, steady breath. Inhale, lift your gaze, circle that right arm back up and over, releasing that rotation. And let's extend that right leg out. Left foot comes in or crosses, and we sit up nice and tall. Add a flex of that right foot, wrap the crook of that right elbow around the knee, still facing forward, extend left arm out, lift it high, get that length in your spine. And then slowly circle that left arm around behind you as we take our gaze out over that left shoulder, all the while pulling that left knee in nice and tight. As we turn our gaze, that flexibility and mobility through the neck, a little tuck of the chin towards that left collarbone. Find your breath. Inhale, extend left arm, circling it back up and over, releasing that rotation. Breathe. Let's pull those feet in, and we're going to open up those feet just a little bit wider than your mat. So your heels are on your mats, your toes are off, so we have a little bit of an external rotation through those hips. We're going to take those hands, and we're going to bring them wherever it feels good to you, taking a hold, shins, ankles, feet, and we're going to round over. Kind of letting those knees pull back. 
as we draw the chin towards the chest. Find your breath. Releasing throughout the spine. Good little stretch for the hips, for the groin. Now starting at the very tailbone, the very bottom of your spine, slowly begin to stack each vertebra to sit up nice and tall. We extend the legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky. Now if you are really taking care of that lower back and coming down is too much today, pull those knees in and carefully come down onto your back however you need to. Otherwise, extend those arms, soften your feet, stay strong through the belly, and slowly, slowly, with a natural hollowness through your tummy, each vertebra comes to the mat. And relax. Let's pull one foot in towards your bottom and then the other. Feet are hip-width apart. Hands come down by your sides, palms to the floor. We tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat. We're going to press through our heels as we lift those hips to the sky. Coming up to bridge pose. At the top of our bridge pose, we squeeze our buns. We lift those hips. Our knees are right in line with those hips. Breathe. Now we're going to slowly lift those fingertips towards the sky. If you need to keep those arms down, keep them down. And then we're going to slowly, slowly open those arms all the way out overhead. Now inhale, lift your fingertips towards the sky. Keep those buns squeezed. And as you exhale, slowly lower down one vertebra at a time, matching the pace with your arms. So you come all the way down. Now we're going to incorporate both. Tuck the pelvis. Press through those heels, peel that spine off the mat, slowly begin to lift your arms. All the way up and over. Inhale, lift those arms towards the sky. Slowly releasing down one vertebra at a time. Can you literally feel each vertebra come back to the mat individually? We're going to do that one more time. Tuck the pelvis, small the back into the mat, press through those heels. Begin to peel your spine off the mat. Begin to lift those fingertips towards the sky. So mobility through the shoulders at the same time, firing up those hamstrings and those glutes, at the same time stimulating the thyroid. And wonderful, wonderful bridge pose. Inhale, lift those fingertips towards the sky. Slowly releasing one vertebra back to the mat. So your bottom is the very last. Good touch. Pull one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Pull those knees in nice and tight. Let's rock side to side. So hopefully the back has really started to loosen up. Feeling good. Feeling a little warm and fuzzy. Let's come back to center. And we're going to take those hands just kind of to the tops of the knees. And we're going to make a big circle with those knees. Just letting the hands rest. So as you make this big circle, maybe it's not a big circle. Maybe yours is a smaller circle. It's your circle. So do whatever it needs to be to make your back happy. So, but I want you to notice the different abdominal muscles that come into play as you make that circle. As the knees come back in towards the chest, we're going to switch directions. So we're not pulling with the hands. We're maneuvering with the legs through the hip joint and using those core muscles to keep us steady. A little massage for your back as we go through the different positions with the legs. As they pull out a little bit, a little different. As they pull in a little different. Now pull those knees in towards your chest. Bring the hands to the shins, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, I want you to pull in and lift your nose towards your knees. As you inhale, release. As you exhale, pull in. Inhale and release. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, pull it in. 
and slowly release it down. Keeping that right knee tucked in, extend your left leg out and down. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the mat just as best you can. Rolling that head out over that right arm. So just looking out over that right arm. Is there any tension left in that back? I hope not. So it's one of those things, guys. Movement, breath, exercise in general. Is seriously as good if not better than medicine taken in the right dosage so we have to be mindful of not overdoing and not doing too little so finding that perfect place where we can send healing energy into the body but we're not overdoing we're not adding stress to the part of our body that's already stressed releasing that left hand roll it back to center Extend right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. Now, anytime we do these leg lowerings, you can bend your knee, shortening the lever, making it less intense. And we draw that left knee in. Left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the mats. And then we turn and take our gaze out over that left arm. Nice, big, deep breaths. Now sometimes you might hear some snapple, snapple cracks and pops. It's absolutely fine so long as there's no pain involved. Some people have a little more tendency to pop and crack than others. But again, as long as there's no pain, it's all good. I know for me, sometimes those can feel amazing. Gently releasing that right hand, slowly roll it back to center. Extend that left leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, relax, turn of rotation through that hip, and then slowly lower the leg down. and allow it to come to rest. We draw the knees up, soles of the feet to the mat, arms extended out to a T, and we're gonna slowly take both knees to one side, feet stay on the mat, and then the other side. So you might feel this a nice little stretch through the front of your hip, definitely through the spine. We're just gonna let those knees rock side to side. Finding your breath. Quieting the body. And just breathe. We come back to center once again, pulling those knees in towards the chest. Hands travel behind your thighs safely. Either rock yourself up or come up to a seated position. So if the rocking up is not in the cards today, be nice. Take care of your body. And we come forward to our easy pose. Inhale, reach to the sky, pull the hands to heart center. And let's slowly walk those hands out. We're going to do a check-in. And we're going to see the difference from when we started to how we're doing now. And hopefully noticing a substantial difference, both in the range of motion as well as the lack of resistance. Three, slow, steady. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands out to the right. Reach through those left fingertips, relax the weight of your head. How does that feel through that keel region? All the way down that left side, into that lower back. I know way better for me, I hope so for you. Taking that left arm up and over. Coming down onto that forearm if you like, otherwise staying up on the palm of the hand. We're reaching as far as we can reach. We're rolling that left shoulder back just a little bit. Can you feel that awesome stretch? all the way down that left side. As you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest back to your thigh. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center. Fingertips reach it out.
Inhale, lift just slightly and walk those hands to the left. Reach through your right fingertips as far as you can reach. Press that right hip towards the mat. Relax your head. And we take that right arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest, reaching up and out. Again, you're welcome to stay on the hand or come down onto your forearm. Rolling that right shoulder back, feeling that amazing stretch all the way down your side. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest back to your thigh. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center, fingertips reach it out. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, circle your hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms overhead. Reach it high. Bring the palms to touch. Pull the hands to the third eye. Just a gentle touch. The base of the thumbs against that third eye. Close your eyes. Breathe. And gently pull the hands to heart center. Close your eyes and breathe. Taking a moment, thanking the mind and the body for being willing participants in your well being today. For being kind to yourself, moving and breathing mindfully. Gently opening the eyes. I hope your lower back is feeling super good. I hope it stays with you for the rest of the day and continues on. For those days when you do need a little extra TLC, I hope you join me again. Uh, I know I will always be back because that lower back needs the love. So take care of yourselves. Enjoy your day. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Until the next time, namaste.